By the time Heath Ledger's body was taken from the Manhattan apartment where he died, the press and media had descended en masse. His celebrity status ensured no privacy in death. Onlookers swelled the crowd as the news filtered out. The 28-year-old was discovered by his housekeeper. Prescription drugs, including sleeping pills, were nearby, leading the police to believe he may have died of an overdose, but there were no obvious signs of suicide. I can only repeat what I said, that there were prescription medications taken from the apartment. They included sleeping pills. They were not scattered about the apartment. They were his prescription medication. Medics battled in vain to revive Ledger at the apartment he moved to after the breakup with girlfriend and mother of his child, Michelle Williams. The pair had starred together in the hit movie Brokeback Mountain, for which he got an Oscar nomination. The role of gay cowboy propelled him into the Hollywood elite, guaranteeing a legion of fans, some of whom turned out within hours to pay their respects. Ledger died at a point when his star was most definitely in the ascendant. The Australian who moved to the States at the age of 19 quickly turned his back on teen movies, choosing more challenging films and earning something of a cult following. He recently took on the iconic role of the Joker in the new and yet to be released Batman movie. He was widely regarded as a private man, shunning the media glare and the celebrity spotlight. I've kind of developed a more diplomatic way of viewing it all and handling it and I'm certainly more relaxed with it all and um, um, but I, I you know I don't you know should the, the photographers following you and all that kind of stuff it, it, that you know it gets it's embarrassing more than anything actually it's just kind of embarrassing to be walking somewhere and have people jump out in front of you with cameras Police quickly ruled out any foul play here at Ledger's apartment. An autopsy later today may confirm their theory that drugs were responsible for his death, but the medical evidence may not answer the question of whether any overdose was deliberate or accidental. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, New York.